Hello and welcome back to Video Games. I'm Tim Rogers. You are watching Kotaku.com. The holidays are right around the corner, so I want to give you a quick gift guide. Joining me today is Debabis, my luxury goblin. He is a little cinnamon snow gremlin, and his opinion matters more to me than money. If you look at the internet or flip open a magazine or turn on the local news, the weather forecast shows an 80% chance of gift guides. I think there's a few too many gift guides out there. I actually did a quick search on the internet before I decided to come in here today and make this video for you. And I noticed a lot of gift guides, quote unquote, for gamers out there. And these gift guides tend to include just pretty much every piece of gaming merchandise possible. Basically, they amount to telling you, if you know a gamer, just buy them anything. And I say this from an, the experience of someone who, my job, my very weird job is, I get fun video game stuff for free, and then I play with it, and then I have to make videos telling you whether or not you should pay for them. So I've experienced a lot of fun video game stuff this year, and in this video I just want to show you my absolute favorite stuff. So if you're watching this video, it's possible that your son or daughter or grandson or granddaughter or niece or nephew sent it to you because there's something in this video that, that they want as a present. And if they sent you this video, it's because they read Kotaku.com, which is a website for more game players who they might like TV or movies, though video games are definitely their, their favorite thing. So I want to talk about gifts that you would give them. And the first thing I want to get out of the way is I want to give you a quick list of don'ts. Well, it's actually just one don't, so it's a list of don't. Technically, it's one don't means it's not really a list. It's just I want to give you the don't. When it comes to buying presents for video game players, don't buy them anything. They're spoiled enough already. That's a joke. Uh, definitely, of course, you want to buy them a present if they're your loved one or relation. What I want to say is what you shouldn't do is don't buy video games for a video game player. Don't buy them a piece of video game software unless they specifically ask for it and they tell you exactly which game it is they would want. So for example, if my mom in Indianapolis, Indiana were watching this video, I would want her to know that I want The Witcher 3 for the Nintendo Switch. I already have The Witcher 3 on Xbox One X and on PC. I'd feel ridiculous to spend $59.99 buying it for the Nintendo Switch, though I still want it. So The Witcher 3 on the Nintendo Switch would be a good present for me to receive on Christmas. $59.99, you can get it at Target. And that actually brings us to my most important point here is what, what I think of when I think of what the perfect gift is. I think it's something that the person you're buying the gift for would not buy for themselves, yet they would love it if you bought it for them. A lot of what I'm gonna show you today is gonna focus on controllers and accessories for video game consoles because video game players usually play with pretty bad controllers. The controllers aren't really that good and they deserve a better controller. So what you wanna do, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna find out what console or platform this video game lover in your life plays on. Video game consoles aren't like VCRs or DVD players. A PlayStation can only play PlayStation games, an Xbox can only play Xbox games, a Nintendo can only play Nintendo games. So you need to figure out which one of those that the person has. Now some of them have multiple consoles. I actually have an Xbox and a PlayStation and a Nintendo, though I play most of my games when I can on the, on the Xbox One. Figure out what console it is they have. So I'm gonna break down my list of items by each platform. And we're gonna start with the Xbox because I like the Xbox. And I'm gonna give you a couple of options. Starting with the Xbox, my number one recommendation for an Xbox present, for an Xbox video game liker, is this. This is the Xbox One Elite Controller Series 2. It is a video game controller. It is made out of steel, solid steel. It's really heavy. It weighs about as much as a pistol. It's, it's really, really solid. This controller will set you back $179. The normal Xbox controller, which is one of these right here, normal Xbox controller costs about $59.99. This is literally three times the cost of a regular Xbox controller. Three times the cost. Durability-wise, this thing is going to last for years. I had an original Xbox Elite Controller Series 1, and it's lasted me for about five years now. And I haven't upgraded to the Series 2. This is just a test unit that was sent to us by Microsoft. Though I love it, and I would, I would appreciate this as a Christmas present, as 
And when I did a review of this on Kotaku.com, a lot of the commenters were like, oh, it's too expensive for a controller. And that's exactly what I would have said if I didn't have one, if Microsoft didn't send me one and I played the thing. So what I'm saying is maybe this game liker in your life would not buy this for themselves. However, they would love it if you bought it for them, if they play on the Xbox, $179. It's got a lot of features. I don't have time to get into all of the features. I actually did a one hour long video describing all the features of this controller, if you feel like watching that. Now, another thing Xbox has going on is they have this deal called Game Pass. And Game Pass is a subscription service. It's kind of like Netflix, except it lets the player download games. And they have just hundreds of games on here, full games, big games, new games. I think it's the best deal you can get in video games. And it costs you about $12 a month. So you can actually go on Amazon and you can buy Game Pass membership cards. So you can buy a full year of this for $119.99, which isn't a bad deal. And on Black Friday, who knows, it might even, might even be cheaper. I expect there to be some kind of a deal on this Game Pass thing. You can buy a six month, three month. If you buy that for an Xbox game player in your life, if they're already subscribed to Game Pass, they'll, they'll know what to do with that card. They just plug the number in and then it'll continue their subscription automatically when it runs out. So it's always a thoughtful gift. I would appreciate having an extra year of Game Pass. And then another thing you can do for an Xbox gamer, Xbox Live Gold memberships run $60 a year. And an Xbox game player will always be needing a renewal on their Xbox Live Gold subscription. They'll always appreciate having it, always. I, I know I would. Every once in a while you'll go online and you'll wanna play games online and then it'll tell you your subscription is up and you have to go in and put your credit card number in again and renew the subscription. If you just give them one of these 12 month Xbox Live Gold cards, they'll take it home, they'll plug it in right away and then when their subscription runs out, they're gonna get an email that says your subscription was automatically renewed because the code you entered six months ago, they're gonna think of you every time they go online to play Halo or Call of Duty. And that's great. Now let's talk about the Sony PlayStation 4. This is the most common video game console. I believe everybody has one. They've sold like 100 million of these things. If you know somebody in your life, in your family, and you know that they play video games, there's a pretty big chance they have a, a PlayStation 4. But make sure, just in case, before you buy the present I'm about to recommend. The best present you can buy somebody who has a Sony PlayStation 4 right now, the best present you can buy them is this. This is the Scuf Vantage 2 controller. This is actually made by Scuf, who is the company that pioneered this engineering design of these paddles that are on the back of the controller. This is a little bit technical if you don't, uh, if you don't play video games, you might, not, you might not get this though. You have this, these buttons on the back of the controller that let you use this stick with your hand while you're pressing buttons. You can change it so it's any of the buttons on the front can be any of the buttons on the back so that you don't need to move your finger too much. If they play a lot of video games, they'll know that they don't like doing this. If you buy them this controller, again, they might not buy this for themselves. They, they, might, they might think it's too expensive. They might think this controller costs $180 is too much. If you buy this for them, they're gonna love it. Now this is actually the wireless version, which costs $199. $179 is for the wired only version. And if you wanna get the version that also runs wireless, that's an extra $20. And I personally think the extra $20 is worth it, even though I play wired most of the time. It's just maybe, maybe I'll unplug it sometimes. And I think this controller is great. And I think it's phenomenally, fantastically great. I love this controller. Scuff actually sent me a PlayStation 4 Vantage 1 controller last year. And I have only played with that Vantage since then. I have not gone back to the regular controllers that come with the console. I love this controller. It's very sturdy, it's very solid, the buttons feel good. Every, everything feels good, it feels luxurious. It's like you're buying them a Mercedes-Benz of video game controllers. And let me tell you, this, this right here, this is like a Honda Civic, basically. I mean, I love a Honda, it's like, it's like a 1999 Honda Civic. It's not, it's not like a brand new Honda Civic. Those new Honda Civics are great. These controllers, they're, they're made of cheaper plastic. Again, there's 100 million of these consoles out there, right? So they're shipped with these controllers packed in the box. It's just not as good. If you know somebody who has owned a PlayStation 4, which came out in 2013, they might have been through like 10 of these controllers already in their, in their time owning the console. I know, because I, I went through a lot of them before Scuff sent me a Vantage, and now I'm just all about this thing now. And if you don't want to get them a Vantage controller, you know what you can get them? You can just get them more of these these original DualShocks, they actually come in a bunch of colors. There's a wild range of colors that these things come in. They, there's like a brand new purple one, a shiny purple one. And even though I love this Vantage, 
if I wanted to play a game with somebody else, and I, I wouldn't mind having a purple controller with my, my white controller and my, my black controller that I have lying around, or a red controller. Before I got this job making videos about video games, I actually made video games and I made a four player video game. Whenever I talk to my friends about, oh, they're like, oh, I haven't played your video game yet because I don't have four controllers. This video is me trying to get everybody in the world to have four controllers. Everybody should have more controllers. They can play with their friends. And just like with the Xbox, something you wanna do for PlayStation 4 game players is you wanna get them a subscription to PlayStation Plus. It's just like Xbox Live Gold. When it runs out, they've gotta pay for it again. It's $60 a year. If you just buy them a, a $60 a year, 12 month PlayStation Plus subscription, it's, the, it's a very thoughtful thing. Very thoughtful, wonderful gift to have. It's the sort of thing where if they get like three of them, they're gonna use all of them. It's just great peace of mind. And the PlayStation 5 is coming out next year. It's probably gonna carry over to the PlayStation 5. So when that subscription renews and that email comes in, again, they're gonna think of you every time they play a game online. Another thing you can buy a PlayStation 4 game player is an Xbox One digital only edition. Microsoft is now selling an Xbox One that only downloads games. It doesn't take discs. It's a, it's a cheaper version of the Xbox. Though if they have this, they'll be able to play all of the games that are only on Xbox. And I know that there are a lot of PlayStation 4 game players out there who wish they could play Gears of War 5 and Halo Master Chief Collection. It'd be nice for them to have that, right? And now we get to the Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch is huge. The Nintendo Switch is wonderful. It is this unique video game console that you can play like a portable. You can play it on the bus, you can play it on the train, you can play it on an airplane, you can play it in the bathroom. Though you can also plug it into a dock and play it on your television. Players of the Nintendo Switch love the Nintendo Switch. And the Nintendo Switch loves having lots of accessories. So I'm gonna recommend some accessories that I like. I actually asked all my friends on Twitter what their number one most wanted Christmas present was. Video game related Christmas present. And the number one most popular answer that I received from all of these people on Twitter was this. Let me get it in here, hold on, hold on, here we go. One of these. This is a micro SD card. You see this little thing? You know what this is? Now I'm 40 years old. I grew up in the 1980s and the 1990s. I know that waking up on Christmas morning and coming out and looking at the Christmas tree, you wanna see these big old giant boxes under the tree. Toys came in big boxes. They came in huge boxes when I was a kid. And the bigger the box, the better the present. Well today, this right here has literally 98 video games in it. And it's only, actually, I, like I gotta take my glasses off to see it. This is a 200 gigabyte one. So this, this is only 200 gigabytes, and that's 100 games. And right now, on Amazon, there is a 512 gigabyte one of these going for just $110. You wanna make sure it has a little number three on it? Like, whatever, I'm gonna recommend you an exact one to get. I'm gonna look it up, and I'm gonna make sure right now you're seeing on the screen the name of the exact one you should get. A 512 gigabyte SD card, if you got that for a Nintendo Switch player, they would be able to put 200, 250 video games on it. Of course, they would have to buy the video games, and goes right in here. Goes right right in the back here. I put this in here. And now I have 100 video games in my Nintendo Switch. And they're they're all video games again that I paid for and downloaded. Then one of those little SD cards. They make these micro SD cards in really huge sizes of one terabyte or two terabytes. Two terabytes could fit about probably like 800 video games on it. That's like more video games than anybody needs. Though there's one thing video game players love, it's having a lot of games and telling all their friends, I've got like 100 games I haven't played yet, man. They love that. And I know for some people it's, it's a lot more than 100 games. Now one unique thing about the Nintendo Switch is these controllers on the side of the console come off, right? and players can play separately with them, so you can use one of these controllers by itself. You can customize your Switch by changing the colors of these things. One thing I've got that another, that people on Twitter told me they, they would always appreciate, and I agree with them, a different set of colors. So you can make your Switch yellow like this. And it's just, it's two more controllers to play, again, to play multiplayer games with. So for $79, you can get a pack of two of these things, which lets you customize the look of the thing. They've got uh, so many different colors now. They've got these uh, pink and green ones. They've got these orange and purple ones. If I were to receive those as a gift, I would love that. I mean, I love my yellow ones. I've had my yellow ones on here for like two years. Love my yellows. However, I wouldn't mind having a couple other colors. Go like this. 
Dogs love yellow, did you know that? It's the color of tennis balls. They, they go wild for yellow stuff and bright stuff. It's, did you know that people, like 2,000 years ago, would not have been able to see this color? It would have just looked gray to them. Oh, and one thing I got that I really like, that actually this, this was not sent to me by the, the developer. I actually bought this for myself because I saw a picture of this online and I thought, that's wild, I need that. I love it. I've been using this in my, in my office uh, where I play video games as part of my job. This is called the Nintendo Switch Split Pad Pro and it has the branding of some game on it. I don't have this game. It seems like an okay game. You don't really need to have the game to get this thing. So this thing, let's just unbox this here. Put it back in the box so that we can enjoy it. It's these big grips that you can put on the side of your Switch. This is $49.99. If this game player you're shopping for rides the bus, ride a train, they commute to work or school. That means they're playing this portably a lot. So they're, they're holding it in like, a, like a mobile device. So if you buy them this, what this does, it turns the Switch into kind of more of a traditional video game controller. So it feels more like an Xbox controller. So it feels more like an Xbox controller. It feels more like you're playing on a TV. Even though you're, you're on the bus, though you feel like you're playing on a TV. It's, it's big, and these buttons are really nice. I would have never known about this thing if I didn't write about and make videos about video games for a living. I'm, I'm only aware of this because I'm looking at video game stuff all day. And there's a possibility that this Switch game player in your life does not know about this thing. And if you get it for them, they're just gonna immediately freak out. It's even got buttons on the back. They're gonna love this thing because I love this thing. So the Joy-Cons change the way the Switch looks when you're playing portably. Though when you plug the Switch into the TV, that's where you are able to use more standard style controllers. Nintendo has their own controller, this Nintendo Switch Pro controller, which I love. I've had this for about two years. This is a really, really nice controller to have. I know a lot of Switch players, a lot of my friends have a Switch, and they still play with these controllers when they're playing on the TV. And I think if they had one of these, if they had one of these, they would, they would definitely appreciate it. And if you get them, if they have four of these, they can play four player games. Uh, they have two of these, they can play two player games. It's, they, they probably can't have enough of these controllers. And I, I love this controller, it's very good. Though if you wanna get a little bit different, this company called 8BitDo makes these very beautifully designed controllers. This is an SN30 Pro Plus is what this is called. And it's, it's wide, luxuriously wide. These buttons are nice and soft, very good D-pad. It's just a very good controller to hold in the hands. It's made of the sort of plastic that the old game consoles were made out of, so it really feels like you're holding an old Nintendo Game Boy. It has this, this textured plastic to it, so if, if they're a bit of a, an old school video game player, they would really appreciate the kind of plastic quality of this. And I like this one because they use the exact colors of the original Game Boy, which came out in 1989. And I really like that. It's a very classic touch. They actually make this in other colors. Uh, there's, there's one that looks like Super Nintendo. There's one that looks like, it's just a black one that looks like the regular Pro Controller. Very nice, thoughtful present. Again, if they have more controllers, they can play games with their friends. And that's good. Now, if the person you're shopping for is a PC gamer, that means they like to play games on a computer, and usually that means they built the computer themselves. They paid a lot of money for parts, and they went through a complicated process, and they did a lot of research on the internet. These people are very hard to shop for. So what I would suggest is if they're a PC game player, and maybe just in general, just ask them what they need. A PC game player always needs something. And if you ask them and they tell you something very specific that they need, and you help them buy that, they're gonna be very, very grateful for that because they spend a lot of money and they, they feel like they spend a lot of money. Now in a lot of gift guides, I see a recommendation to buy PC gamers a gamer chair. I'm gonna tell you what, I've sat in a lot of gamer chairs and I don't like them. I think they're bad. They have this really high thing behind the neck for your, your head, it's kind of like a car seat to support your neck. And I think all that does is, is teach you bad posture and you want your children to have good posture. So don't buy them a, a gamer chair. What you wanna buy them, you wanna buy them a Herman Miller Aeron chair, which is about $1,300. Gamer chair for like $400, it's gonna ruin their spine, it's gonna ruin their neck. They're gonna be seeing a neurologist at some point. I know this all from experience, okay? I've got tingles in my fingers from sitting in bad chairs for too long. Herman Miller Aeron, you get one with leather armrests up, it's like $1,300. That's what, that's better than a gamer chair. Gamer chair, $400, just get a chair at Office Depot at that point, get a $50 chair. Prove me wrong, gamer chair manufacturers. Send me your chairs, and I will test them right here. I'm not even kidding. But also for PC gamers, they will always love 
a Steam gift card. You can get them a $100 Steam gift card. And this is the best part. If you know they play games on PC, Steam is, is a service where they can download games. It's the biggest service for downloading games. Most PC game players have hundreds of games in their Steam library, hundreds of them, some of which they've never played, though they're really proud of having all these games in there. And every year, the week of Christmas, Steam has a sale. Thousands of games go on sale, some of them up to like 90% off. So if you give them a $100 gift card on Christmas, they can open the app on their phone and buy, just, they, can, they can just go wild buying dozens of games for this $100. They will spend that $100 right away and they will think of you whenever they think of those games in their library. You know, I used to actually not really like gift cards, though I find as I, I get older, I love gift cards because my, my parents gave me $300 for Christmas last year, cash, cold hard cash, and my dad said, spend that on something nice, and I said, I will, and I put it in my bank account and it disappeared. I spent it on the electric bill and rent and groceries and did not treat myself to a fun dinner. So if you buy me a gift card, I'm forced to treat myself. So I like that. I'm at an age now where I will not treat myself to anything unless I'm forced to. And maybe your children are at the same point. Gift cards are just great in general. Steam gift card for PC gamer. You can buy a Nintendo Switch gift card, PlayStation 4 gift card, Xbox gift card. All of these gift cards are great. I can't think of a game off the top of my head that I want, though if you gave me a gift card, I would spend it probably within three or four days. So, gift cards. So now I'm just gonna give you a couple, of, a couple of little ideas. Number one, this is an Anchor micro USB cable. It's a USB cable, that sounds really boring. And it is, though, look at this. It's, it's this nylon braided cable. It's good for up to like 10,000 bends. It's 10 feet long, it's wild. This dog loves chewing on it. And he can't chew through this. He can chew through the plastic one, though he cannot chew through this. This cable is dog chew proof. He doesn't even want to chew it. Normally he would just jump and chew god darn anything you put in front of his face. These cables are wonderful and they are the best USB cables. And video game players are always charging their controllers because you charge the controller by plugging it in here. You know, just, just like that. And you plug it into the console to charge it up. They're always doing this. You always gotta charge the controller. Having a really good cable is good. We're always buying these in the office. We're always getting on Amazon and ordering like four or five of them. And then they're all gone within like a week because we use them for something. If you bought me 10 of these, I would say, it's kind of excessive, that's kind of too many. And then I would use all of them. And these are the best brand of USB cable to get. And they make all sorts of other products. There's this, uh, there's this USB charging hub that I just, I installed one in my house, in my entertainment center so I can charge all my controllers and my phone in, in one little convenient place. You can get them one of those too. I have three of those in my house. If I had another one, I would figure out something to do with it. It's a great thing to have, practical thing to have, especially in a house as full of video game paraphernalia as mine. This right here is wonderful. Past couple of years, there've been a lot of these mini video game consoles. A couple of years ago, there was the, the mini Nintendo, and then there was the mini Super Nintendo. Last year, there was the mini PlayStation. Seems like there's a lot of these mini video game consoles for the older game players uh, to, to remember the ancient video games. Though this one, I promise, this is the best one. I know there's a lot of them out there, and you might think that they couldn't get any better than the Super Nintendo. This one is fantastic. It's got 42 games on it. It's a Sega Genesis. A lot of your video game players who are older, like around my age, they might have played Nintendo. Not all of them played the Sega Genesis. Not all of them loved the Sega Genesis as much as the Nintendo. And when this came out in September, on September 20th, 2019, I went and bought one at Target and they were just fully stocked. Whereas when the Nintendos come out, they're just sold out. Not enough people have this. There's a chance that your loved one does not have this. 42 games, wonderful games. Just incredible, incredible taste in this game selection here. I, I love this thing. The perfect gift. When the Super Nintendo Mini came out, I believe every gift guide that year called it the hot gift. And uh, I don't think any of them are calling this the hot gift for a gamer. So that's what I'm doing. I'm calling this the hot gift for Christmas. I love this thing. I plug it in to my TV in my office and I play it when people think I'm doing something else. The hot item. It's got Land Stalker, 
Contra, Hardcore, Castlevania, Bloodlines, Gunstar Heroes, Shinobi 3, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Streets of Rage 2? I don't know what to tell you. If that doesn't drive the gamer in your life completely wild, they're gonna need to hand in their license. Badge and gun on my desk. Let's assume there were five people in my life who loved to give me presents for Christmas, and all of them gave me the same Seagate brand, five terabyte USB 3.0 external hard drive. I'd love it. That's 25 terabytes of data. I plug those into my Xbox and download all the free games on Xbox Game Pass. An external hard drive, always a great thing. And there are actually a couple of more advanced solid state ones that are out now that are getting cheaper. Those are very fancy and would be greatly appreciated by anyone who plays a lot of video games. Also, I would recommend a Philips Norelco one blade razor. For $79.99, you can get this uh, deluxe version that has a rechargeable battery. You might not know it to look at me right now, though I love my Philips Norelco one blade razor. I've been shaving with straight razors for about 17 years, and then I bought one of these Philips Norelco one blade razors because it was on sale on Amazon Black Friday two years ago. It is the best shave I've ever had outside of a straight razor. There are too many video game players with beards, and they gotta clean it up. That they can, they can definitely clean it up with one of these. Clean it up, guys. I'm gonna clean it up, too. As soon as my scumbag landlord fixes the hot water in my apartment, don't ever shave with cold water. If you know somebody who loves big budget AAA video games, they love playing on their PlayStation or Xbox, maybe they don't know exactly how hard it is to make a video game. Jason Schreier at Kotaku.com, he wrote a book in which he interviewed many game developers about the games that they made. Wonderful, complex, strange, difficult stories of video game development are contained in this book, which is available now on Amazon.com. Interestingly, sales of this book do not profit Kotaku.com at all. They do, however, profit Jason Schreier. I'm not recommending the book because I work at the same office as him. I'm recommending the book because I had a real good time reading it. As a former AAA video game developer myself, I appreciate the stories told inside this book. Makes a great stocking stuffer. And if it won't fit in their stocking, buy them a bigger stocking. It's a bonus gift. Deliver this book to them in a stocking. Video games are getting smarter these days. There was recently one of the biggest games of 2019 was a game called Death Stranding. Very sophisticated, strange, bizarre game full of artistic imagery referencing many classic, strange, avant-garde films and works of literature. I'm gonna say, gift the game lover in your life a one-year subscription to the Criterion channel, where they can watch thousands of excellent movies. Get them that. Like, I'm not even kidding. I mean, I pay for that myself every month. If somebody offered to pay for that for me, I would love it. It's just my favorite of all the streaming services. They can watch all of Martin Scorsese's World Cinema Project is available on there. You get Edward Yang's A Brighter Summer Day. Just beautiful movies. The kinds that are just too good for them to go see in a movie theater. Criterion Channel subscription. And I think that about covers it. I've shown you some stuff for the Xbox, the PlayStation, the Nintendo Switch. Now what do I want for Christmas? Just off the top of my head, every year there's a, there's a deal on Kinja Deals. There's a, there's a brand called Indochino. They make suits. You know them? You guys know them? They make these suits. They, they, they take your measurements. They got a little shop in Manhattan. It's like $300 for a suit, but every year on Black Friday, it's like $400 for two suits. And I always see that and I'm like, I should go get that. And I never get that. Mom and dad, if you're watching, look it up. Indochino. I also want, for any of the inventors in the audience, there's a lot of accessories for the Nintendo Switch on Etsy. What I want is I want something 3D printed that I can mount my Nintendo Switch on two arms and there's like a crane and there's a base that goes under my pillow so I can lie down and have it over my head. Like I'm in a first class airplane seat and then I can hold the Joy-Cons in my hands and just lie down and play video games lying down in bed. Cause playing this thing lying down in bed is too hard. Cause you gotta have your elbows bent. You're holding it like this. That sounds like a really dumb complaint though. Man, it hurts the elbows a lot. Especially if you're playing any one of the beautiful, deep, long, luxurious, vast, dense video games that are available on this, like Dragon Quest XI or The Witcher 3. So Santa, if you're watching, get the elves and, and invent that for me. 
I realized that that's maybe not a million dollar idea, but maybe about a hundred thousand dollar idea. So if any entrepreneurs owning a 3D printer are watching this, I would, I would greatly appreciate it if you, if you made that. Just one percent, just give me one percent. And that's about all we have time for. It's a whole lot more than, than he had time for, apparently. We got a little present for DeBavis. We're gonna let him open it in a little bit. Until next time, I was born stupid. However, I will not die hungry. Video games forever. Kotaku.com. All right. He's so luxurious. Wanna get it? Yeah, yeah, where is he? DeBavis? We got a little early Christmas present for my luxury goblin here. He smells something in there. He's opening it. What is it? It's a little playology pebble toy. It smells like chicken. Here's the thing about this. It smells like chicken, though it's imperceptible to humans. Because he has like, what is it, like 800 times the sense of smell of a human? So I can't smell chicken on this thing. Though look at him. He knows there's chicken in there. You might think that's a little cruel. That he's gonna chew on a thing that he thinks is chicken and it's not. Maybe there's a, let me know in the comments if you think I should do a video where I compare video games to dog toys or dog toys to video games. Oh, he wants the paper as well, so. The Babis loves to eat paper. Okay, don't, okay, sorry, you're not gonna, give me that, give me that, give me that, come on, give me that. You have your delicious chicken thing. <laughs>